want to appreciate everybody those that are following us online on facebook on youtube those that are here on emo may god bless and increase you mightily in the name of the lord jesus christ wherever you are i declare that you are blessed and indeed blessed are you in the name of jesus christ i want to appreciate you for taking your time to be here it is not easy it takes the hand of god for what god has done in our life is immense what god has done in our life is powerful so i'm gonna ask you this moment for you to just raise your voice raise your voice and begin to speak to your maker in the name of the lord jesus christ the grace of god is here the power of god is moving in this place the heavens are speaking for you tonight wherever you are open your mouth and begin to speak to your maker in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody you can bless the name of the lord somebody you can bless the king of kings he is here he is here for you in the mighty name of jesus what a service what a privilege uh, the power of god is moving in this place in the mighty name of jesus destinies are changing somebody wherever you are worship god exalt his holy name because he is here to transform somebody he is here to move for you he is here to speak on your behalf in the name of jesus we are in the presence of him who never change father lord god of all glory we worship you we exalt your name because yahweh you are king you are the alpha omega jehovah there is not one like you we bless you today we give you praise adonai jehovah you are great what a mighty god we serve in this place we honor you jesus we bless your name lito shakatebele de zeka parango sepadiza hakata la baranda somebody bless the name of the lord somebody bless the name of jesus in the name of jesus father god we are here for you we have come to experience and encounter you it is about you tonight take your place in the name of jesus we are your children we are before your presence we honor you and we exalt your name in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father we love you father we bless you in jesus name somebody wherever you are you can say amen glory to god this is your night somebody wherever you are watching wherever you're following us from those that are on your on emo your season has come something is about to happen in your life that will leave you with the results of testimonies as i speak it let it manifest in the name of jesus something is happening it is your night it is your season we are celebrating the birth of the king of kings we are here for a mass it is called christ christmas if you look at the word it is called uh, it spells to christ mass so it is a service of jesus it is a service to decorate the purpose and the reason the mission as to why jesus was born to us i don't know where you are i don't know what is happening in your life but right now in this service something is about to begin after today power is locating somebody in the name of jesus christ 
now very quickly i want us to read in the book of ephesians chapter number one verse 19. the bible says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power father i bless you for this word we are here tonight to experience your power we are here tonight to experience you we bless and magnify your name that lord tonight we surrender our lives in your mighty able hands speak to somebody lord use this voice to touch somebody in the name of jesus that after tonight something will manifest your glory and your grace will move in the name of jesus as i speak it lord take preeminence and reign in jesus name i have prayed somebody wherever you are you can say amen those that are watching on facebook you can type amen and god will bless you in jesus name now today we are talking about the access to power the access to power because it is important child of god for you to operate in power and the power that i'm talking about is available the power that i'm talking about is able to move in your life the power that i'm talking about can be your portion this power can be part of your life now the only thing that you need is the access for you to operate in that power because the power is available where we have read the bible says that and what is the exceeding greatness of his power his power is great his power is so exceeding there is too much power in the realm of the atmosphere as you are moving as you are working as a believer as a child of god there is a, po a portion of power that is available for you so that is why the bible says that and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe so that power that i'm talking about is your portion you who is a believer believing that jesus is the lord of your life believing that there is god in heaven believing that there is god who can change situations and things around you being a believer child of god you are a portion you you are part you are associated to this power that the bible is talking about according to the working of his mighty power the workings of god they involve mighty power the working of god they involve glory now it is the will of god that as a believer you move and operate in the same power it is important as a child of god you be a result of this power that is available right now the grace is available right now the grace is working it can work for you it will take you to have the access now the bible says that in the book of john chapter number three verses number six jesus is telling nicodemus that that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit now you are born of the spirit now the results that are supposed to come out of your spiritual birth are supposed to be spiritual results he who is born of the flesh is flesh he who is born of the spirit is spirit so there there has to be a spiritual impact in your life there has to be some spiritual results from your life 
Reason being you are born of the spirit. There is an identity that the Bible identifies you with. According to the power that works in us. There is a certain level of power child of God. That works and moves and operates in your life. There is a certain of level child of God that is available for you to operate and access. But it will take you to know how do I access this power. The disciples of Jesus were moving with Jesus. Marveled at the works of Jesus. They were watching Jesus move as he heals the sick. Doing mighty things. And they, are wonder, they were wondering what kind of power does this man operate in. Jesus told them one day that this kind. This kind. Child of God, the power you ad, admire so much. It is available. What you need is the access. The moment you get access. The moment your access is granted. You begin to operate with results. You begin to move with results. Why? Because you are associated to something greater. Greater than where you come from. Greater than what your name say you are. Greater than whatever you think you are. You are associated with some kind of greatness. Now the reason why this greatness may not be manifesting in your life is because you have not come to the point to access. It takes a man child of God who is willing to take and do what it takes for him to operate and move in power. It takes a man child of God who understand the essential of moving and operating in power because child of God be, be, before you realize yourself the Bible says that the prodigal son came to him to his senses and he realized who he was he knew that in as much as he had sinned against the father ran away from the presence of the father he realized who he was and he said in my father's house why is he identifying himself with his father's house he is identifying himself with the power that is available in his father's house and the bible says he said to himself i will go to my father what he needed is to become part of his father it did not matter about this position that he will get it did not it did not matter how he will be received what matters was for him to be in the hands of his father right now what you need child of god is the access for you to enter at a place whereby you will be able to mingle with power you will be able to operate and move in power it takes you child of god to make the first step for you to begin to approach those levels we are celebrating one of the most powerful human being that has ever lived on earth and it is his desire child of god that as we celebrate him we be part of what he began because it is because of you that he had to come on earth being treated as a nobody to the point that he died to the cross why because he was working to associate you with a certain atmosphere with a certain level with a certain thing that when you realize it it begin to work in your life it begin to change your family it begin to change you such that you come to a point whereby you receive a name all you need is the access for you to get to a realm where boys are transformed and made men where men are transformed
transformed from the ordinary and they become supernatural where people come and their levels change it takes you child of god to realize what does it take for me to get to where i want to get it begins with you it begins with your mindset it begins with them acceptance having to accept that i can become what the bible says i am i can become who the bible says i am and the moment you come to that realization it opens your eyes on how do i get there child of god they think that as a son as a child as a daughter of god as part of this movement of christianity you need to know you need to know it is important that you realize what is your level because you can be living as a beggar yet God had purposed you to be somebody who is a river who is a provider you can be living in limitation when God has set you apart anointed appointed assigned you for greatness for results and the only thing that can limit where you are supposed to be is the information that you have not acquired so number one access to power is information you need to be at a place whereby you can learn something something about power something about moving and operating in the demarcations and dimensions of power information the bible say that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free Jesus Christ is the truth because he is saying that I am the truth. I am the life. He says I am the light. So the moment you know Jesus there is a certain dimension that opens up in your life. And now you begin to reason not as Joseph, not as Miriam, not as Alex. You begin to reason in the levels of what and who you have known. People brag about how they know great men. If you hear people saying, that man is my uncle. He is married to somebody in my family. People like to be associated with power. Why? Because they know that there is a prestige they are. They 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 receive i like to be identified with my my spiritual father i brag about him because of the success that he has made in life the success that he has made in ministry the impact that he makes in people i am a result so i feel good to be associated with him why because he is a man of results he is a man of results. He is a man at a position. He is a man moving at a certain dimension such that I feel good when I talk about him. I'm so proud to brag and say I'm a son of Prophet Caleb Wekesa. Why? Because this name is associated with something of value. So it takes you to know something. It takes you to know somebody. It takes you to know. The moment I met and knew my prophet, something happened. Why? Because I was associated with something that was greater than I. I was associated with the result. I was associated with the commission. So the moment I began launching, knowing the man deeper, 
he began to reveal to me secrets he told me my son if you want to become somebody work on yourself invest value in you so if my prophet can change my life like this why because of access it took me to know him he granted me access invited me to his space he began to speak to me value he told me my son for you to make it in life invest in yourself have value i'm wondering what is this man telling me and with the time he began to show me and with the baby steps i began to improve time to time following on what he's teaching following on what he's showing me why because he knew that for me to take my son somewhere i need to share information it is what i learned from my father that got me to where i am today now if i were to be proud saying that i, I don't need anybody so i've heard people say i don't need people i can do it on myself i only need god let me tell you god uses people to touch people i'm working on a series of teaching i'm gonna be teaching about my encounter with prophet caleb and out of this series somebody is gonna get something my encounter child of god there is something you encounter in life there is some things and some people you meet in life the moment you have an encounter look at soul the access the key for soul to become a king was hidden in him having to encounter a prophet and the moment Saul encountered Samuel Samuel is a man with a commission Samuel is a man with an anointing Samuel is a man with the power to make men odd extraordinary to make people become some body <sighs> and the bible says the moment some soul meant samuel saul never had any information about prophets read it but the bible says that that encounter number one it got him the throne a position of power number two the bible says as he was living one day with the sons of the prophet people saw Saul prophesying among the sons of the prophet why because of the encounter the interaction that Saul had done so the access child of God for you to be in power and move in power is when you learn and master the kind of people you associate with who you spend your time with matters who you talk to most matters it is until you have had a certain encounter that will give you and grant you access to power now number two number two is encounter i told you about information number two encounter association how you interact how you spend time with people will determine how powerful you will be in terms of wealth in terms of the things of god in terms of whatever power you want to access the people that you allow to speak in your life are a determinant if you want to become powerful associate with yourself with people that are powerful and have made it to the levels of power 
They will show you. They will teach you. They will give you insights. Of how to get there. The heights may look so high. But it is who you allow to speak in your life. That will give you the wings. For you to fly and get where you want to get to. The heights may be so high. But everybody child of God needs a father. The Bible says that. It took John. To introduce and usher Jesus. To his level of ministry. Jesus being God. He did not need John. He would have just come and begin ministering. But because of the principles. It took Elijah. To make a major prophet Elisha. It takes people. No matter how anointed you are. No matter the capacity and the amount of power you are moving with and under. You need somebody. I told you I am answerable. There is where I report. I am answerable. There is an anointing where I submit. This anointing has made me to be me. It has made me to be where I am. Why? Because there is a level whereby child of God fathers give you feathers to fly the farthest. You cannot get there on top without having somebody that has made it. That is why those who want to make it in wealth, they follow up on people who have made it in wealth so that they can be able to learn secrets. How did you make this amount of money? How did you become? What did you do? What is the secret behind this effect? What is the secret behind? So it takes you child of God. As a person who desires to be granted access to power. To know that you need somebody. With huge muscles than yours. To hold you up. And put you where you want to be. The way for you to get on top. Is having to submit. Having to humble yourself. Having to search. For people who have made it. And find out how did they made it there. How did you enter in the marriage. And you have made it five years. No divorce. What is the secret? How did you begin ministry? I've been following you. Ten years you are still still preaching the gospel what motivates you what pushes you and the moment you are exposed to this insight it grants you the access to power now we are heading to 2023 one of the most important thing that one needs to enter to 2023 is the power to make results. The power to make results. Now open with me in the book of 1 Corinthians. Verses number chapter 2 verses number 5. 1 Corinthians 5. 1 Corinthians chapter number 5. Chapter number 2 verse 5. Now the Bible says Thank you Jesus Ha! That your faith Should not stand In the wisdom Of men But in the power Of God The, wis the wisdom of men Will tell you you cannot make it 
The wisdom of men will tell you you are limited. Because they tried the business, the business did not work. Now they think that anybody that tries the same business cannot make it. Why? Because they did not make it. Now they share with you their wisdom of failure. Their wisdom of frustration. The Bible is against that. It is saying that. Your faith should not be based on what people have not achieved. What the people are speaking. What men are saying. And most of us when we hear people saying marriage don't work. You begin to sing the same song. Why? Because you are relying on the wisdom of men. The Bible says that. Your faith should be in the power of God. Now because the wisdom of men can tell you uh, is saying that 2023 is going to be difficult. Kindly when you come on emo, you mute. Now because the wisdom of men is saying that businesses cannot move in January. You begin to follow the wisdom of men. The Bible says that put your faith in the power of God. Put your faith in the power of God. Because for the power of God to move in your life and bring about impact and change and transform your life, it will take you to have faith in that power. So number four key that I'm going to give you tonight is faith in the power of God. Gone are the days that child of God will live to experience Experience God in the pages of the Bible. It is possible that child of God. You move in the demarcations and dimensions. That Paul was moving in. It is possible that you can move in the levels. That Peter was moving in. What, what was with Peter? That as he could pass like this. His shadow would heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. His shadow could make a lame man to rise and walk. It's because he understood the mystery. The secret that gives men access to power. Child of God, it is possible that you can become a dunamis. You can become power. You can become a solution giver. You can become something out of this world. Why? Because you have learned on how to access power. Men of power have the language of power. So point number five. You need to work on your language. You need to work on your language. Imagine you finding the, pre the president. Now because there is a breakdown in the nation. And the president calls a, a press conference. And the president is saying, I, I don't know what we, should, we will do. Uh, this is very difficult. As you can see, the president is talking. What do you think? The nation will receive from that message. If the man in power, the man that we are looking to make a decision, to speak and stop this, is stranded. There is a language of men who are in power. The men who operate in power, they do not understand defeat. Men who move and operate in power, they don't understand the language of defeat. Why? Because they understand that language has power. Mentality has power. Now, when you wake up, ha, you know, 
a life of a man begins number one when he is born and number two when he knows who he is when he knows the purpose and the reason why he exists the moment you know that your life begins a pace is being set for you to move and operate in some levels i'm talking to somebody here and you are admiring to become somebody it is possible you can become who the bible says you are you can become what the word of god is saying you are you are able to make an impact you are able the bible calls you you are more than a conqueror now for you to realize that you have to master you have to subject your mentality to that thought that i am more than a conqueror i can move mountains where my father did not achieve i can make it it begins by you having to change your language confession the access to power the access to power i decree in the name of jesus I'm sorry about that. I declare to 25 people following this service right now. In the name of Jesus, that as you are watching on Facebook, as you are watching on YouTube, those that are on Emo, wherever you are, you are entering 2023 in power in the name of jesus that whatever stumbling block that cost you not to achieve what you had targeted to achieve will be defeated in the name of jesus as i decree it let it manifest let it manifest let it manifest in the name of Jesus. Let it manifest in the name of Jesus. The secret that you did not have in 2022. Jehovah God is opening you up to this information. Whatever knowledge that you did not have in 2022. As you are marching in 2023, God is exposing mysteries. God is revealing to you what it takes for you to become great. What it takes for you to make it. Receive the power. Receive the power. Somebody wherever you are, receive that power in the name of Jesus. I speak grace. That will access you to power. Power to achieve. Whatever you are intending to achieve in 2023. I release the grace. Somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. 
receive it it is your portion in the name of Jesus right now something is happening somebody you missed your achievement because you did not pray God is giving you the grace for you to be able to pray to enter into the realms of power as I speak it, somebody, wherever you are, receive it. It is your portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You came here looking for mysteries. Looking for the key. How to enter and begin power 2023. Let the language of power locate you. Let the knowledge of power locate you. May God give you association that will give you access to power. In the name of Jesus. May God give you the grace for you to change your mentality. That will be able to reason as God reasons towards you. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, you are watching on Facebook. You are listening to me. Wherever you are, if you believe God is able to do it, type, I receive it. As you are typing it, it is your portion. In the name of Jesus, as you are typing it, it is your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the move and the power of God. Let the grace of God that grants men and women of God power locate you, you wherever you are in the name of jesus i decree i declare that as we are entering 2023 your name will be associated with power levels are locating you in the name of jesus god is giving you the access of power i declare right now under the action of god upon my head that wherever you are, you have been moving, operating powerlessly. Right now, the grace for you to move in power is locating somebody in the name of Jesus. As I release it, it is your portion. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Natecho. It is your season. Somebody give me a techo uh, a C right now. Natecho, if you are in a position, you can speak to me. Kindly come and unmute and talk to me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Mikal, for coming. God bless you. I don't know if Natecho is in a position to speak to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Natecho Kadabalentra Diva Shekebele. Thank you, Jesus. Mikal, it is good to see you again. How are you? Mikal, I don't know if you are in a position to talk. Uh, today, people seem to be very committed. Yes, Mikal, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor. How are you, Pastor? I'm great, and I'm so happy to see you today in this service today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy too. I've not been able to access my email for quite some time. Thank you because you came. But today, I thank God I've uh, joined the group, I've joined the, the, the service. I'm very, I'm very, very much thankful for God. Thank you, Jesus. We give glory to that. Now, I see you struggling so much in terms of even yes. having to pray. It has been difficult even for you to have humble time to pray and because of this season that you have been having struggling 
no breakthrough the devil has been taking advantage to frustrate you and bring you pain because i'm seeing sickness even not only where you are i'm seeing like sickness even in your family there's there have been some hiccups and hinges of sicknesses and a lot of struggle but right now under the grace of god in this service tonight michael god is setting you free in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing god unlocking into dimensions mm. yes ah how how is your sister my sister my sister is doing fine shepherd legay i'm seeing a new job locating your sister right now as i'm speaking to you i saw god opening an avenue of a new job i don't know what is she's doing right now but i'm seeing god ushering her to a new job and on the same note god is telling me that the shame that she has had to go through is being removed in the name of jesus christ is being removed in the name of jesus whatever has been causing you guys to be limited so that you could not make results you could not make impact god is giving you the grace the power and the ability i'm seeing new energy i'm seeing new passion i'm seeing god releasing charisma i'm seeing god releasing ideas because Michael you are a great businesswoman I don't know if you know that but God has graced you with a certain anointing so that even now as I'm speaking I'm seeing you with ideas in terms of business but the, what has been limiting you is money but today in the name of Jesus under the grace of God that speaks upon this altar Michael from wherever you are I activate that grace for you to move and operate in the dimension that God has set for you to prosper in terms of business Yes Father one thing that you should do Michael as we are crossing over make sure that you don't cross over with your frustrations cross over with a mentality that you will make it you will subdue sure you God is going to move in your life and as i speak it so shall it be your portion in the name of jesus christ michael from wherever you are experience it it is your portion in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ you are blessed you are blessed in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a name like kennedy I don't know if it is Kennedy or catch something Kennedy Kennedy or catch Kennedy Gracepa lead Roman Rod of Azeka those that are following online on Facebook right now if you are sick both on Facebook on emo those that are on Facebook type if you are sick you are here on emo raise your hand i want to pray with you and god will move in your life and healing will take place in the name of jesus christ you are here you are sick somebody is sick in your family 
We are here to change. I prayed for somebody. Pray for Tracy. Headache pastor. Not in position to talk, pastor. Just talk. I will type. Oh, Natech. Natech. Oh. Thank you for coming. Now, uh, Mikal, I want you to put your hand on your head right now. I'm going to pray and Mikal, God will touch your life. God will set you free right now. Put your hand on your head. I want to pray for you. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, as I'm speaking these words under the influence of the grace of God that works here for your children, I speak life and light in the life of Michal and I rebuke that headache. In Jesus' name, as I am making this prayer, let the healing of God manifest. As she is holding her head right now, I speak healing. It is your portion, Mikhail. Experience it in Jesus' name. Receive it. It is done. It is done. I want I want you to do what you could not do. If you could not shake your head, do it and let me know how you are feeling. Because I hear God telling me he has touched you. God has touched you. You are watching on Facebook. You are sick. Type me. I want to pray with you. God is going to heal you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray for my uncle, Geoffrey. Uh, Michael, I want to know how you are feeling. I will appreciate also if Selfa will come up. Who else said they are sick? I'm going to pray for Tracy. Michael, what is happening on your end? Bradisha Katena. Uh, yes? I was really feeling bad. I was really feeling bad. Yes. Before. I was really feeling I was really feeling like I could remove this head of mine, but uh, uh, uh after the prayer I can feel a bit better, but I believe that God is still going to do it. As you have spoken. Let it manifest right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are totally free, totally healed. I'm seeing King Kid. King Kid, if you are still there, let me know. I want to pray with you, King Kid, and God is going to heal your stomach pains in the name of Jesus. Let me know, King Kid, King Kid if you are still watching, let me know so that I can pray for you and God will heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Selfa, come. Selene, come. I want to pray for you guys. God will touch your life. Selene, what is your issue? Thank you, King. Hello, Pastor. Just a moment, Selfa. Uh, King Kid, put your hand on your stomach right now. I will pray and the power of God will move and touch you. And immediately after this prayer, as you are watching me right now, God will heal you and set you free in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, wherever King Ki King's kid is watching from right now, as he is holding his tummy, his belly, I speak healing to touch his life in the name of Jesus. As I speak it right now, let my voice transmit power and healing. Receive it, King's Kid. It is your portion. As I have spoken, let the healing of God manifest in your life. Wherever you are, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is your portion. You are being set free. I hear God telling me that stomachache is being stabilized. You are receiving your healing. Totally healed. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, King Kidi, I want you to feel, I want you to feel your stomach. And type me whatever you have experienced. God has just touched your life. The power of God has just happened in your life. 
help me and let me know let me know what has just happened on your end in the name of jesus christ selfa you are saying something how are you selfa i am fine pastor wow wow what I'm is your what is your me, sickness I'm fine. wow glory For to me, god king lakini hii ni pastor nataka uniombe tu aki mungu anikumbuke last month if adam meshinda usi nikatumia pesa mingi hata siku i will pray i will pray god will touch god will uh, try to be brief because of time Nimeambiwa FD sister yangu ni mgonjwa sana. Your sister is sick. Okay, who else is sick? Your father is sick. Father alipona, sister yangu sasa ndio ameanza. Sasa nashindwa. All right, I'll pray. King King Skid is saying he is healed. He said he is shocked. He saying I was in so much pain. King's kid this is the god we serve in this place this is the god we serve that stomach pain will never be your portion in the name of jesus as i have spoken so shall it be in the name of jesus now selfa on imo you are saying that your sister is sick we prayed for your father god healed him Now I'm going to pray right now and God will touch your sister in the name of Jesus Christ. You are ending this year with a testimony. Whatever spirit that are rising to frustrate your December, they will not work in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus name I pray for Selfa. Wherever she's listening this prayer right now, I decree and I declare let the power and the move of God locate her sister right now. In the name of Jesus as I speak this prayer I decree I declare self as sister healed. Let the healing of God locate her from wherever it is she is right now. In the mighty name of Jesus let the move of God happen. Let the power of God touch her life. As I have spoken, so shall it be in Jesus name. Your sister is free and free indeed selfa in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Krebeleza katobo shatalabantra dede. Kari masitro dozo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Na techo Now take show it is your season. I'm seeing a lot of glory associated with you wherever you are na techo. You said you are not in position to speak. But God told me tell my daughter na techo that I am gonna usher her to victory. And na techo because you came to this service after today. Because I'm seeing like you've had to go through a lot in terms of where you are working, your family and the, uh, I'm seeing a sickness. Can you turn to me so that I know there is a sickness that right now you have stru struggled with for quite some times. It's like it will come it will surface, it will surface, leave, come again. Today, na techo God is setting you free. I don't know if what I'm saying is making any sense if it is if this is your word na techo you can type to me uh, you are saying true pastor huh now na techo because you came today number one thing that god is going to do in your life he's going to set you free from this sickness number two that thing that god is going to do in your life he's going to usher you into glory having to struggle throughout 2022 was not the purpose and the will of god but because the enemy had intended to frustrate your 2022 i hear god telling me that 
even as we are crossing over be ready get ready for anything from right now as i'm speaking anything can happen and as i'm speaking these words let the glory and the power of god locate you let transformation happen in your life as i speak it so shall it be your portion natecho in the name of jesus christ receive it from today the glory that i saw surrounding your life let it manifest let it make impact from today in the name of jesus you will never be hidden again because it's like every time you want to excel every time something has something greater is locating your life natasha there is something that happens to hide to hinder and temper with the glory of god in your life but from today i speak the grace to sustain your life that you will experience every work that god has to do in your life in the name of jesus as i speak it it is your portion where you are coming from will not limit your life the family where you are born natecho will not limit your life in the name of the lord jesus christ as i speak limitations are breaking Poverty will never be your portion. In the name of Jesus, from wherever you are, Natecho, receive it. It is your portion. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus that I speak it, and so shall it be. It is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Delebadiko shata. Giza alemu. I'm seeing God moving things in your life. I'm seeing God moving things in your life. Uh, Giza alemu. Because as I'm speaking to you, I'm seeing a lot of frustrations. I'm seeing a lot of delays. I'm seeing a lot of delays. And God told me to tell you uh, after this service. Giza, I don't know if you are in position to come and speak to me. After this service, Giza, your life is taking a new turn in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I saw it's as if there are some things like that even right now you have had to postpone them to next year. Why? Because stagnation has been oppressing your life. But today, if I be a man of God, if God ever called me for this, as I'm speaking these words, let God move you to your place of encounter. Let God push you to your place where you will be able to experience God in the name of Jesus Christ. As I speak it, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing somebody, it's as if you are having infection. Uh, it's a, an STD kind of sickness. You're having a, a sickness. On your private part, there is something that is uncomfortable with you. God is saying that even if you are ashamed to say you are the one right now as I'm speaking these words God is touching your life and that issue is dying right now under the influence of my voice that issue is being broken in the name of Jesus as I speak it so shall it be whoever it is wherever you are i declare you healed in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ that sickness is gone God has set you totally free after today check if you could not urinate properly if you are in pain after today after today check and see what God will have done in the name of Jesus Christ it is done it is your portion in Jesus name Seri and come come very fast Thank you. Yes, Serian, what are you saying? What is the problem with your work? Pastor Nomba Nyonge Kiswaili Juniko Nawao Karib Watuko Mbali Sana. Okay. Mm, Aki Nyumba Nye Niko Niko Na Stress. Ju, vitu zinapotea, tuko wengi kwa nyumba. Sasa nashindwa mimi ndio nalemewa peke yangu. Okay. Kama jana simu ilipotea mtoto. Then sasa mimi ndio niko nina nimeamshwa 6 asubuhi nitafute. Na nimekosa kabisa. Nimekosa hiyo simu. You will find it. Umeangalia kwa kiti vizuri. Eh to message everywhere. Are you sure? Yes. You are gonna that phone will be found tomorrow. Lunch hour. Mm. This is the testimony that I will come to receive here. That phone mm. it will be found tomorrow. And lunch hour. Hear me and hear me good. I'll be here. To receive this testimony now you are saying that you are having problem with mm -hmm. where you are working right now as i'm speaking these words mm -hmm. god is going to restore the favor that you lost in that house in the name of jesus christ mm -hmm. as i speak mm -hmm. it serian so shall it be in the name of jesus christ Three days from now, you will know that in this place, we serve God. We carry God. God is telling me that he is going to reform everything in your house where you are working right now. God is going to reform and restore favor. Now what has been happening has been happening because the enemy is fighting your progress. The joy of your enemy is that you lose that job. But as I speak these words right now, I declare grace. I release favor upon you. As I have Amen. spoken, so shall it be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it. Serian, you will Amen. testify. You will experience the God of this place. From today, you will Amen. not ever have to worry about... Because right now, you are even worried that you can lose that job. Serian, if I be a man of God, let the grace that works to sustain men and women of God at their workplace locate you in the name of Jesus as I speak it so shall it be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ Serian experience it experience it experience it in Jesus name you will see God amen you will see God in a mighty special way. As I have Thank spoken, you. so shall it be in Jesus' name. You are blessed. Don't worry. Amen. God is working for you. 
God is fighting for you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lizzie. Amen. Lizzie, I'm seeing a lot of scars in your life. <laughs> Lizzie, how are you? I'm okay, Pastor. One thing that God is going to do 2023 is He's going to cover you with glory. Network. Can you hear me, Liz? Liz, I don't yes. know. Now, one of the things that God is going to do in 2023 is he's going to cover you with glory. Because you, you have struggled a lot. This 2022 has been a difficult year for you. I don't know if I'm making sense, mm -hmm. Lizzie. Kindly, uh, Mashallah, you can mute. I don't know where that noise is coming from. Uh, Lizzie, get ready because the scars that I saw on your heart, God is healing them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everybody that hurt you, <clears throat> forgive them. I'm seeing people. Amen. I'm seeing people like they they were. I don't know if they were trying or they refused with your salary at a point this year. That's true. <sighs> now this. Uh, battles and struggles you have been having as you are entering 2023 nobody your salary will be coming on time your salary will be coming that demon that works to frustrate your finances it is being defeated in the name of Jesus Christ as I declare it Amen. so shall it be your portion Lizzie in the name of Jesus Christ. Get ready for 2023 because God is gonna shadow. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna crown you with glory. And I'm seeing beauty around you. God is gonna beautify your season. Edna, you can mute kindly. Lizzie. Amen. Amen. The tears you cried this year are not crossing over with you next year. As I speak it under the influence of the Spirit of God upon my head right now, let it be your portion. In the name of Jesus, you will live to experience Every time you have been gathering, working, getting money, this money is not working for you, but benefiting other people. 2023, please, get ready because the pattern is changing for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The patterns are changing for you. And as I speak Amen. it, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. From where you are, receive it. It is your portion. Let the joy of God fill you that you will not be in tears. As we are moving in 2023, let the year speak and favor you in the name of Jesus. As I have spoken, experience it. In the name of Jesus, it is your portion. Receive it. In Jesus' name. You are blessed, Lizzie. Amen. Because of time, Amen. I want to declare everybody in all our platforms that are following up this service blessed 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those that were sending their Christmas gifts and Christmas offering, may God bless you. May God increase and supply all the needs of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are sending your offerings, those that have been sending your tithes, wherever you are, let the power and the grace of God excel your life. Your life will be colorful. Your life will prosper in the name of Jesus. On the same note, you like to do your offering. The number is on my DP. The number on Emo has been pinned on the notification button. Use the number to do your offering and God will bless you. God will increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. May God give you grace. May God empower you in the name of Jesus. You are here and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life. Wherever you are, I want you to repeat after me and Jesus will enter your life. You will become a new creation from today. Repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I being a sinner come before you that Lord you will forgive my sins and make me a new creation. I accept you today to be my Lord. I accept you today to be my Savior. From today, I am a new creation. Father, I choose to live for your kingdom. As I speak this word, lead me from today. I deny the world. I deny my old nature. I accept you, Jesus. I accept your new creation. In Jesus' name. Wherever you are, say amen. If you just said that prayer, you have received Jesus. If you just say that prayer, you have received Jesus. And that is the mightiest miracle that can happen in your life. So if you have spoken the prayer kindly, use the same number that the uh, admin is posting on emo on the announcement button to reach out. Follow me. Type me. I am a new believer. We are having a WhatsApp group whereby we send teachings to help you grow as a believer and God will bless you abundantly. Everybody, wherever you are, thank you so much for joining the service. May God bless you. May God increase you. May God supply you at the point of your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. You are blessed.